I've met incredible people La olvidado at so many places that I've lived or worked at through my art, such as crisis centers, correctional facilities for youth, shelters, and, and schools. At a high school where I was doing a mural about Colorado history and diversity, two youth had been arrested for tagging. While in jail, the police had beaten Leonardo and had sexually assaulted Monique, who told me this in quiet, traumatized voices, their eyes downcast. I went to court with them and saw the utter hatred the judge bestowed on Leonard and Monique for tagging, screaming at them, as if this crime was worse than the crime of being assaulted in jail. We spoke to the principal, who offered no guidance, no compassion. He laughed in front of them when told about Monique's experience, stating that there was nothing he would or could do because she was 18 years old. Later, Monique painted her self-portrait on the mural with flowers and a baby. She painted tears flowing from her eyes, and I asked her why. Leonard and she had recently lost a baby before they had been arrested. We painted more tears that turned into the universe and became a blanket of stars that wrapped around the baby. Authorities didn't care that perhaps tagging was Leonard and Monique's way of dealing with the pain of their loss. Monique told me that Leonard had started to hit her, which he had never done before. Monique and Leonard are sad, traumatized, and angry. They've been discarded by the very institutions that should have worked to help them succeed. At the same time, there was a man who volunteered at the school, angry at me for painting people of color on the mural, complaining to the principal, asking why I painted large faces of black and brown people. The way the students and I fought against him was through art. We painted truths of their lives and the demand for a more just and peaceful world. The mural created change by instilling dignity. Our art made a difference. The man was ordered to leave. Monique and Leonard are not forgotten. Their lives matter. They move me and the art we do together moves others. They move me and so do so many La Olvidado, the forgotten ones. I remember them through art. I believe that mass incarceration and racism has followed us throughout generations and may continue following us for generations to come. Young people, especially of color, are in extreme danger of assault, discrimination, and apathy by authority and others every day, whether they commit a crime or not, due to their skin color, targeted because of that. I feel so compelled to do art work and to add artwork to the struggle against injustice.